happening now. Church members in Monroe County spent part of their day dealing with what's next after a lightning strike left behind this damage. Take a look at what we found. This is in the foyer of the First Assembly of God Church in Amory. Last night's lightning strike not only caused a fire, it knocked the steeple, as you can see, to the ground. There's plenty of work ahead of them to get this building back to normal. The adjuster told us it's going to take time. We'll, we'll wait on contractors and different people. We, we're not in a hurry. We don't have to hurry to do it. Um, we have another place. And that place is next door in the church's Family Life Center. First Assembly will hold services there for now, including Easter Sunday services at 1030. And we feel pretty confident that this was likely a lightning strike as it occurred before the strongest portion of last night's thunderstorms moved through the Monroe County area. We detected on storm track Doppler radar that lightning strike in the front parking lot and it was an excessively rare type of lightning strike, what we call a positive lightning strike initiating from the anvil, the higher up part of the thunderstorm. As we go inside the forecast, positive lightning strikes occur less than 5% of all lightning strikes. They originate in the anvil higher up and they can travel as much as 25 miles miles and sometimes ahead of thunderstorms and typically in summers when we talk more about that being an issue, but they're also more powerful. In fact, 10 times more powerful in the amount of amperage that they deliver than a typical negative strike. So uh, at least indications here are pretty strong that we had about 719 last night, a lightning strike that caused that damage.